In today's video, I'm going to show you an easy topography animation, which is blur text reveal in After Effects. I want you to type in any text on your composition. And then once you create your text, I want you to open your text layer by clicking on the arrow and then go to animate and then select blur. Now I'm going to name this animator blur. And then you can change the blur value here. It all depends on how blur you want your text to be. But I'm just going to leave it as 20 here. And then I want you to open range selector. And then we're going to animate the offset. So I'm going to create a keyframe there. And then maybe go to about 3 seconds. Change the offset to 100 so that it's full clear like that. So basically what it does, it just animates from blurry to clear. Before we continue, have you ever wanted to save time on motion graphics? Motion Duck extension has thousands of animated templates that you can add to your animation. You can download a bundle pack, buy an individual pack, or subscribe if you don't want to spend too much in one go. They also have a free pack if you want to test them out first. It's so easy to use. The cool thing is you can customize them all. Check out the link in the description below to download. Now, back to the tutorial. Now I just want to make it a bit fancy, so we're going into advanced here and look for shape and I want you to change from square to ramp up. So at the moment, if you go back to the first keyframe, the blur doesn't really start from the beginning. So what you need to do is to change the offset on the first keyframe from zero to minus 100. So now the blur will start from the very beginning and then it'll just kind of like clear up towards the end. I also want to change the ease high and ease low. I'm going to change it to 50 for both. It's just giving you that slight easing at the start and at the end of each letter. You can leave it as zero and zero if you want. It's not much difference. It just feels a bit slower to me. Um, so I like to leave it as 50 and 50. And then the next thing is to add opacity in the animate. So make sure that you don't select anything on the text layer and then select animate and then go to opacity. And I'm going to name this opacity. Now I'm going to set the opacity to zero because we want to start the text from 0% opacity. And then again, open the range selector, create keyframes from the offset. And then for the second keyframe for this opacity, just set it just before the keyframe for the blur ends. So I'm going to set it around there and then set it to 100. And then if we play it, it'll look like that. Now I also want to open this advanced and then change the shape to ramp up as well. So it just feels a bit smoother now. I can even bring this back a little bit. So that's how you do blur text reveal. Now I'm just going to add a little bit of scale animation just to make it a bit more epic. So I have the scale as 400 here and then for the end, I'm just going to add it up to 550. So I just kind of like slowly zoom in like that. It just gives a bit more effect to it. Now I'm going to show you a different style to do this blur text reveal. So I'm just going to copy this text layer and I'm going to open this composition that I already have here. I'm going to delete that and I'm just going to paste it in this composition. And this is going to be randomized basically. So randomized will kind of like random the order of each letter. So in order to do that, it should be under advanced. So if you go under blur and then advanced and then look for randomized order and then you want to set it up to on. Now the blur kind of like have a random order. You can do that to the opacity as well. So if you go opacity and then open the advanced and then turn on the randomized order. Now the text coming in randomly as well. You can't really match the blur and opacity randomized unless you have the opacity inside of the blur, which I don't. And you can do that by just copying this opacity here and then click on blur and then paste it there. And then I'm going to turn that opacity off. Now the blur and the opacity kind of like animating together. You can also change the randomized seed. So if you change the random seed, it just kind of like change the order. And yeah, that's a quick tutorial for you. Hope you enjoy it. And thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time.